this time of year, students and people in general tend to be more melancholy, more tired, and have increased stress due to the academic pressure leading up to exam week. I think lots of things contribute to kind of you see a decline in a lot of people's mental health in the winter. It's getting like darker sooner, it's getting colder sooner. Um, I think another thing that's sort of like people don't really realize is that in the winter, when it's exam time and busy assignment time, and that contributes a lot to stress, which contributes to like a decline in mental wellness, but it's also you're coming up to the holidays and the holidays, there's this big pressure that it's like the happiest time of year and it's the best time of year. And like when you're not feeling like it's the best time of the year, you also feel all of this like pressure and guilt for like not being your happiest. It's a tough time in the semester. Students are tired. There's a couple weeks left. We're close to the end, but there's often a lot of bigger assignments, bigger papers still to be written. Um, plus it's getting colder, plus it's getting darker, plus there's still final exams. So it is, it is a tough point. For me, some of the strategies I use um, aren't very common. I normally like to uh, be by myself a lot. I like to uh, focus on myself, you know, watch some Netflix or like um, do self care, like, um, you know, face care or like hair care or like dyeing my hair, doing my nails, things that not everyone would like to do by themselves, but I like, I like to be by myself a lot of the times. I try to stay warm, I would say. That's a, a really big part of it because if I get cold, I find myself being a little bit anxious because I start shivering, uh, my, my breath like gets a little bit lower and you know, more of the physical symptoms. And you know, I just try to stay inside and stay with people next to me that uh, I feel comfortable with. For me, being mentally healthy means like feeling your best in all senses. So for me, that's like being able to like make sure I'm like getting enough sleep, that I'm eating enough, that I'm taking time for myself as well and not just like, for example, putting like all of my time into school or all of my time into work and things like that, being able to find like balance between everything. I think a good place to start is what I call going back to the basics. So are you getting enough sleep? Are you eating? Are you staying hydrated? Are you getting any time outdoors or any type of physical activity? Oftentimes we dismiss those things when we're struggling, like, oh, what's it gonna matter if I eat healthy or not? But if you're already under a lot of stress and then you add sleep deprivation and poor nutrition and dehydration <laughs> and lack of sunlight, it's a bad combination. It's kind of the perfect storm. In Costa Rica, no, we don't. We, our time goes at the same time every day for the whole year. So it comes up at uh, 5.30 to 6, and it goes down 5.30 to 6 again. So this new schedule has kind of, I already got used to it, but it messed with my circadian rhythm in the beginning, because I would be tired earlier. So like, let's say at nine, when I would feel like it's 12, since we're an hour behind, I do miss home. But the, let's say the, the new things I'm discovering makes it worth it for me to be here. Cause snow, like just seeing snow is worth it. Cause it, it just blew my mind. It just came out of nowhere, picked it up, made a ball, threw it at my friend, we had fun. I feel like my mental health in the winter specifically is affected negatively because it's always dark, gloomy, snowing. It's like disgusting weather out. I feel like my mental health definitely drains. Procrastination, which is our avoidance of, of the tasks that we need to be doing, it's super common. Again, it doesn't make you a bad student. It makes you human. Our brains don't like to feel negative emotion at all. So whether something looks boring, it looks hard, it looks difficult, we don't know where to begin. We get the instant gratification of doing something else, but then there's a lot of stress and guilt and anxiety associated with procrastination. Um, so that's why it's like super, super easy to do it. And that's how I encourage students to navigate this, is to make their tasks as easy and as approachable as possible. If you're trying to get adjusted to winter for the first time, it helps if you can find a winter activity that you like. That way you have a positive association with winter. So if you have some type of activity like skating, or skiing, or just going for winter hikes. Um, it could also just be getting into winter photography. It doesn't need to be a physical activity. Um, and then if you find that you're not really interested in any winter activities, if you find an activity that you already like, 
but allow yourself to only do it during the winter months so you still have a positive association with winter.